Okay, here's my rusty old rocket stove uh, made out of coffee cans and soup cans. And here I have a quart of water. I'm going to do a boil test and see how much fuel it takes and how long it takes to bring this water to a boil mm -hmm. using my rocket stove. So I'm just going to gather up a bunch of sticks here, literally right near where I'm sitting. And I'm going to make a pile and put them up next to the rocket stove. And this is, imagine being in a survival situation and you need to boil water for drinking. And this is going to demonstrate how simple this rocket stove is going to be to operate and to provide you with clean drinking water. I'm going to take some little really fine kindling. First I'll put a few pieces of small sticks in the stove, feed it in all the way, and then I'll take some fine kindling and I'll stuff it on top to get the fire started. You want to start out with a bunch of little twigs and sticks, because first you want to get the fire burning. You can see that inside there. Now I'm going to drop some leaves down inside. Fortunately everything is very dry here. I'm just going to put some of this down inside. I want to get that fire started. Alright, now I've started the fire. I've filled the feeder tube with a bunch of fine twigs. Okay, now I've got my stove burning. Now at this point we're not cooking yet. We wait until that flame goes down and then you get a very nice intense heat with hardly any smoke and very little flame. So it takes a minute to heat up the stove. But once it's hot, you have a very efficient heat source. Okay, now I have a very intense heat. No smoke visible. A nice hot flame coming up. Keep feeding the twigs in continuously. There is work involved. But I'm going to place the pot over the stove now and we'll start timing it. We'll be back in a few minutes. Well, I've knocked over my water. It was getting pretty hot. The rocket stove actually looks like a rocket engine right now. I'm gonna have to start this over again but one thing I should note is in order to burn, I wasn't getting enough burn so I put this piece of metal up here to allow exhaust gas to escape because before what I was doing is trying to prop the pot on top of the can and you definitely need to allow exhaust gas to escape or you're not going to get a good burn so I'm gonna refill my pot start over again so now it's been like 10 minutes let me see oh wow I didn't expect that. I knew it was boiling, but I didn't realize it was boiling like that. So keeping it covered, I must say, helps a lot as well. My first test a few minutes ago that I spilled in the dirt was sort of hard to bring to a boil. And um, it does make a difference if you keep your lid covered. And here's what's left of my fuel. I didn't burn very much, really. But, uh, yeah, it works. Proof of concept. Now, I have to admit, also, I've cheated a little. And to get a nice, good flame, you can fan it some. If you want to get your stove going faster, that certainly helps. So let's check this again. And I have a furious boil. So, the rocket stove does work. Although, it does stop boiling as quickly as soon as I take that lid off, so it helps. It makes a huge difference to have a lid, especially when you're outdoors and open like this with a little breeze. It makes a big difference to have that lid on. So there it is. The rocket stove burning, boiling water in about 10 minutes. Again, just an point out, take this lid aside, 
important note I have a grate on there of some kind if the gases cannot escape you will never get a boil I found that out the hard way earlier today put something on there this is a bent piece of iron simply laying on top of the can and that's all it takes and you have a very good stove one thing I want to point out do not touch the stove for a couple hours and after it's been out also make sure you have your stove on a non flammable surface in a very safe area there's this is on a bunch of sand there's nothing flammable around it very important you can start a fire this gets extremely hot on the outside as you can see this can turns black with time so just be very careful and you'll have a very efficient very nice camp stove <laughs>